ready to rumble. I figure. <laughs> I love you. Love you, honey. Welcome back to the channel. This is our anniversary. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. March 12th, is our first wedding yep. anniversary. That's right. Are you sick of me yet? Yeah. <laughs> no. Just kidding. It's hard to believe that it's been a year. Yeah, it is kind of hard to believe. And it's uh, it's gone by really quick, though. It's gone by so fast. Yeah. I absolutely cannot believe it's already been a year. Yep. It just doesn't even seem possible. Yeah, but it's been a great year, though. Yeah, it really has. For anyone who's watching this video who doesn't know, we got married March 12th of 2022. We did a video about it. I'll leave a link in the description. But it's got me, this time of year here, it's got me thinking about the wedding and what we were doing this time last year yeah. and what everything was like. And it ended up being such a beautiful wedding. And it's kind of funny. I, I don't know if we mentioned this on the channel before, but we actually sort of didn't really want <laughs> a wedding. Uh, we were kind of like, let's just go to the courthouse and, you know, go out to eat or something like that. But we're, uh, we're really blessed that we had a few people step in and, and help us, you know, create what ended up being just a wedding that was so much more beautiful than we could yeah. have imagined. So shout out to Donna and Michael if they're watching this. For sure, they let us have our wedding at their beautiful home here. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot warmer this year. This time last year, it snowed, and it was funny because in the 90s, there was a blizzard, and it was on March 12th. Really? I didn't know that. So that was kind of interesting when it mm. snowed last time. I was like, wow, this is like the blizzard. Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, it snowed on the wedding day. So yeah. That was nice. It was. In a way. <laughs> yeah, in a way. It yeah. was enough to be pretty, but it wasn't enough to be dangerous, and we got no, some pretty roads pictures were fine. with it. Yeah, roads were fine, and it didn't make for some nice pictures, too, yeah. so worked out pretty well. So we just wanted to make a little video about our first anniversary and talk about how our first year of marriage has been and, yeah. and kind of reminisce. Yeah, it's been great. It's been a great year. It's been a learning experience for both of us, I think. It has been, and I want us to both like talk about what's been hard to get used to or things we didn't anticipate. Yeah. can't really say there's any, been anything really bad or anything like that I didn't anticipate, but for me, oh. <laughs> no, there's not. There's not been anything bad. Just kidding. Yeah, for me, I the most exciting part is just getting to marry your best friend and be with yeah. your best friend all I the time. I feel the same way. And I didn't anticipate that. Of course, I loved you and right. was very excited and happy to marry you, but it's amazing just day in and day out just with your best friend and we're yeah. always laughing and goofing mm -hmm. off and having fun but yeah. we're really each other's support system i mean oh yeah definitely i would say we're really best friends and we get along well and we work as a good team and we support yeah. each other and that's been that's probably been one of the biggest things that i just didn't expect and not to be it sound all corny but it's true i just feel like when we got married that I only thought that I loved you and I did but even yeah. just one year in I'm like wow I didn't even know what yeah that meant. I do I, I definitely feel the same way about it you know yeah it's kind of just something that you think you know what it's gonna be like and you hear people say oh no it'll it'll be different just you wait and see it'll be different than you think and it, it's funny how that always ends up being true how people are right about that stuff and not different in a bad way just different in terms of what you have in your mind versus what it's actually like on a day-to-day -day basis you know right so it's just a little bit different but in a in a great way yeah in a great way yeah. i mean we it was just hard to imagine after being long distance and i think that made it sweeter for us i guess was it being long distance and then right. having all this time and it took me a while to get used to that like if we would go back and visit his parents I would kind of be in the same mode of, well, I got to go. I'll get to see yeah. Austin next weekend. I found myself thinking <laughs> that like the first two or three times yeah. we went to see his parents. And I was like, wait a second. He gets to come home with right. me. We're married yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's fantastic in that regard. It really is. It's been different. You think you know what it's going to be like, but living with somebody is a totally different thing. And I think we've both found that to be true. Yeah. And again, not in a bad way at all, but it's just different than what you what you're used to I guess yeah you know I can't say that it's I've found that to be true in a very dramatic way but I know what no, you're saying no, no, is no. it's different when you're living with someone right. if there's certain ways that they do things right well that's and, what I mean is like the right. certain little details of oh you wash dishes this way or I wash them this way yeah. or you do clothes this way or you know just learning that 
those little details that you had no idea about before, you yeah. know? So I think that's really what I mean is oh, yeah. definitely not in any bad way. Just the little details that you find out that yeah. you, you didn't know before. Right. And it's funny because there's been a lot of things and I'm trying hard to think of an example. Now there's been some things that you do that I'm like, why was I not always doing it like this? This mm -hmm. makes, <laughs> this is yeah. so much better. Well, it makes same, so much more sense. Same for me though, you know? There's things that you do that I'm like, oh yeah, that's a much better way to do that, you know? And that's interesting. It, I'm, I can't think of an example right this second either, but there's been, I mean, multiple examples of that. Yeah, I know I've I've thought that. And then especially Austin is a better driver than me. Nah. He is. He's drove longer than me. And then he worked at Enterprise, so he was like driving for a living. I mean, and then when he worked for a different In company, a way, he yeah. was driving for a living kind of... But he's yeah. a much better driver, so when we go somewhere on a trip, that's been a nice thing. Well, I've I can just, just say, okay, yeah. you just do it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll help you pack the car, and then I'll leave yeah. it up to you. I've just navigate. driven a lot. I, I've got a lot of time behind the wheel, really. Yeah. So that's really the only reason. Me and Katie didn't really get our license until 18 because... There's a whole backstory to that. And then, yeah. And then you're, uh, you'll be 30 in May, mm -hmm. and I'm 26. So you've already yep. had several years. And then well, you yeah, I mean, I'm, and I'm place. a little bit older than you, too. Yeah. So you got a lot more driving history yeah. than me. There's not really been like a lot that I've been like, whoa, this is really hard to get used to. One thing, one of the biggest things that has been uh, not a struggle to get used to, but is owning a house and yeah. housework and managing a house and and that kind of thing yep. that's been that's one of the hardest things curve. it is it's good and it's so yeah. exciting and like when i lived at home i helped my mom clean you know i helped her do dishes any of that kind of stuff but yeah. at the end of the day she was still responsible right. for it at the end of the day my parents were still even if right. i helped them they were it's, still responsible it's for all us here but know? here which you know we're incredibly lucky to, to yeah. be blessed enough to have our own place because, you know, a lot of people, especially our age right now, aren't. But it's definitely uh, it's definitely different when it's 100% on you Yeah. to and get it done. You for know? sure. And it's not that we can't. We're 15 minutes from my parents. We're only like an hour and 45 right. from yours. It's not that we can't call them up and ask for advice or that they well, couldn't yeah, help course. us. But on a day-to-day, -day, I mean, you get to a point where you just have to figure it out. Yeah. Especially with laundry. In the, in the very beginning, I was like man, I just can't get ahead on laundry. And then I quickly realized there is no getting ahead on laundry. <laughs> no. You'll never be ahead on laundry. No. And if you have one of those very rare moments where you look in the laundry room, you're like, I got all the clothes done. That will happen like just twice Just kidding, a year. you don't. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, that was something yeah. that I had to learn, even with cleaning the house. I'm kind of a clean freak, yeah. and I'm like, I want to clean my house like every five days. Well, that's, I think I that's one, I uh, one way we get along well, though, is because I like... I like when the house is clean too, and yeah. we both don't mind chipping in, cleaning, and yeah. all that. You know, that's so. a that's a that's the thing. I feel like we make a great team, yeah. and and we both have our own little things that we kind of do. Yeah. But I have kind of had to learn if I have to go, you know, more than a week stretch without cleaning my house, the world will end. Well, and a little bit more falls on you in that regard, just because you know I I have to go to work every single day. Well, not every single day, five days a week, but right. But, and, you know, you you still go to work, too, but you have more time here than I do. Yeah, so a little bit yeah. more of that falls on you. Yeah. So it's probably been even more to, to take on for you, you know. Well, and I don't mind. I actually like to clean, yeah. like cleaning and reorganizing. It's therapeutic to me, so I actually enjoy it. It doesn't bother me, but I sometimes OCD <laughs> and get really... <laughs> kind of into it uh especially with all of dogs just shed and that's just the way it is yep. and i feel like i could vacuum the floors every single day and you just can't you can't find the time in a day to do that so sometimes i have to <clears throat> excuse me kind of repress my urges to be like i need to clean right now <laughs> even though i cleaned like five well, days ago especially she's right now kind of i think shedding her winter coat a little bit and so shedding about double what she normally does so yep. For sure. That's been uh, fun, to say the least. Yeah. Gotta keep lint rollers on deck with Ollie. <laughs> yeah. A few other things. Before we get too far, it just makes me think about, like I said, when we were two hours away and mm -hmm. when we first met. So we met yeah. online, and we won't go into too much on that because we've talked about this on the channel right. before, but it just seems crazy to have went from, we met online, we were long distance for several mm -hmm. years, and we that was in 2018 when we met, yep. and now here we are. 
<coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Almost five years later now at this point. Yeah. Kind of hard to believe. It just blows my mind to think yeah. about. And I just feel like you're my best friend and you make oh, me yeah. happy and you make me feel safe. And I just feel like we're soulmates. And in yeah. one way, I'm sure a lot of people feel like this, but it's like, I feel like I've only known you for five minutes, <laughs> but I also feel like I've known you for like 50 years. Yeah, I know what you time. mean. I know what you mean. It's definitely felt like it's gone quick, but at the same time, it just feels like we've known each other forever. I know, point, yeah. You know? Two other things I can think of about getting used to would be cooking. So, mm -hmm. I've cooked a lot. I've always cooked. Like, at my parents' house, I would cook. Not that my parents wouldn't cook for me. I eat what my mom cooked, but sometimes if I wanted something different. But right. it's different cooking for two. And sometimes yep. I underestimate, and I'm still in that mindset of just cooking for me. Right. And sometimes it's I underestimate how much we can both eat. And I'm like, oh, yeah, why well, have leftovers? And, uh, <laughs> and we don't. You know, during the day when it's just you, you are just cooking for yourself. Right. So, you right. kind of get in that mode, probably. That's something that I've yeah. had to get used to. And another thing... I was super kind of afraid when we got married. I think I've told you this before, and this will sound silly. Well, we closed on the house in May of 21, and then we got married in... Oh, yeah, and we got married in uh, March of 22, but Austin moved in in September of 21. So he right. lived here from September till March right. until I moved in when we got yeah, married. Yeah, moved in several months before before we got married yeah so we had and that was a wonderful blessing because we had plenty of time and, and his parents oh, yeah. especially my yeah. parents were so wonderful and helping oh, us yeah. furnish my, the house my and, parents moved us in and gave us oh, yeah. a lot of their furniture yeah, pretty I mean, much all their all pretty the furniture. much our living room is yeah. their furniture well, the whole house save for the couch and this nightstand they furnished yeah. our whole house pretty much for Pretty real. much. So we're incredibly lucky. Oh, yes. We're so. so grateful to everyone. And so many wonderful viewers sent things and uh, wedding shower and all those kind oh, of things. Yeah. But we had this wonderful time to just kind of slowly add stuff. And then I would come yeah. over and cook and hang out and, you know, of course, go home yeah. at night. <clears throat> Sorry, I need a cough drop. Sorry, mm -hmm. with this cold here. But that made me happy but it made me almost anxious i just was so afraid when i got married and i told my mom this i kept saying what if i get over to my new house and i just i don't like it and i miss you guys and i just want to come back and, <laughs> and what if i'm over there having to just pine away for y'all and my mm -hmm. childhood home and she's like honey you won't feel that yeah. way i promise you and i was like but what if and I never have felt like that. I'm I, not right. that I don't miss my parents, and I'm only 15 minutes away. I do miss them, and especially yeah. Katie. That's been kind of really hard, just to be honest, on both of us, mm -hmm. just kind of in this new phase of life here. But I just thought I'd be over here, like, calling my mom, like, Mama, I miss you guys. <laughs> and I do miss them, but I never felt like that. Yeah. So I was so afraid I would feel like that. Yeah. But I haven't. I love. I love you. I love all of them. Yeah. I love this house. It's it. And then well, it's, it's so weird going from. Yeah. And then I swear I'll shut up. It's so Are weird going from. You know, I lived in the same house. You moved around a lot, but I lived yeah. in the same house, and that's just always felt like home. To, but now when I think about, it, I want to go home. I want to come back here. I want to yeah. sleep. It's just. Yeah. That was. It's kind funny. Of a it, it, for it's me. funny how quickly you adjust. Yeah. And how really quick. quickly somewhere new becomes home. You know, yeah. it's it's funny how that goes. Yeah, I did not anticipate that because I was so afraid yeah. that I would just never like anywhere else but my parents' right. house. <laughs> yeah, uh, just slightly different for me because I'm uh, like a couple hours from my parents. So for you, I know you get to you know go home a lot. You know, pretty much most days, really. Right, because I pretty much work there. And we um, go like Wednesday nights to eat right. supper with mom and dad. Yeah. So it's just a little bit different for me. I don't get to see my family as much, and obviously I miss them an awful lot, but it's more of the same, though. It just, you know, just after even just a little while of living here, you know, this feels like home now, you know? Yeah. Not to say that going back to my parents' house doesn't feel like home as well, because it obviously way. does. It's just a different way, you know? And it is. It's, it's kind of funny how quickly that happens. One thing for me, too, is I moved from just outside of Atlanta. So moving to uh, little old Murphy, I wasn't nervous about it because I've lived in small towns before and honestly prefer like the small town feel and everything. But, you know, I lived outside of Atlanta for, you know, close to 10 years at that point. So, I mean... I was wondering, am I going to hate not having anything to do? Which I didn't go do anything anyways. But uh, am I going to hate not having all these options of places to go? And if I, I hadn't missed that at all. 
Yeah. I hadn't missed that part of it at all. Well, that was always interesting to me. I never thought I would meet someone in Metro Atlanta, first of yeah. all. I would have been like, what? Yeah. You know, that's not right. But two, you just don't, you're not a city person at all. And no. when I first met you, I realized that. I'm like, he just, this just doesn't really fit. You no, know? no. And I mean, I enjoyed living there because my family was yeah, there. Of but if they weren't there, that wouldn't be like the place I would choose mm -hmm. to live. You know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, it's been nice in that regard, you know, living in a, at least smaller town is kind of growing a little bit it's now. It's growing fast, folks. But um, <laughs> it's at least a lot smaller than where I lived, though, oh, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. You know, I got lucky and found a good job right away and, uh, you know, to where I don't have to travel and all that now. So it's just really kind of worked out perfectly, to be honest. So, oh, yeah. God has richly blessed us. Oh, I mean, yeah. that that's no doubt. There was... A lot of time where we were trying to get you moved here and I was mm. like really, you know, pushing and just really <laughs> so impatient. And I can look back at that now and be like, uh, you know, I'm glad it happened because that taught me a lot of lessons in patience. Right. Not that I'm perfect with patience, but well, God has... Nobody is. No, nobody is. But God has definitely blessed us. I do feel yeah. very confident that this is where he wants us to be. Yeah. For sure. Another thing is Olive had to get used to this house because we yeah, got she her... Did in february and we got married in march so for in february yeah, she, she lived with me at my parents house while, yeah. for a whole month and so yeah. that was a little bit of an adjustment period for her a little bit but you brought her over here too and she kind of was used to it a little yeah so she got used to it um, yeah we've also we can talk about some of the things we've been able to do to the house in yeah. the last year yes yeah, so we've done it's already it was already a nice house when we moved into it so don't take it the wrong way no. that we didn't like the no. house or anything we loved no, the house yeah um it did need a little work you know it's an older house it was built in 1980 it's so it's old, you know someone. coming up on 50 years old so it's um it needed a little bit of work so first thing we really did was we painted the inside the living room and the uh bedrooms, bedrooms you know and uh that was the first thing we did then yeah, let's the see we've splits. also yeah had the main splits put in because it didn't have any air. heating or air in it it had uh baseboard heat and well, yeah. gas heat yeah it had uh well even the gas heat is just like two little standalone the, heaters and that's really right. all it had it's just so quite enough to heat it so we put the main splits in because there was no place to put duct work so we couldn't do central when we got olive we, got we uh put a fence in for her so she gets that's what a lifesaver. Yes, that's been very nice. Instead of having to put her on a leash every single time to go walk her, you just let her out the door and yeah. it's it's been nice. In one way, it gives her the freedom to do rambunctious things, but... She does. And she does. She goes digging in the yards, what she does. Eating but sticks. Yeah, stuff she's not supposed to. But, but, you know, it's nice, and especially for you, when oh, you're yeah. here with her all day, you're not having to walk her every hour or, yeah. or two, you know. Makes and a big difference. take her out every single time, you know. Yeah. So, got the house painted the last end of last summer. I guess going into fall, pretty much. That was nice. The house and deck. Um, and they replaced some rotten boards. Yeah. <coughs> and now we're working on getting the garden going. Yeah, so, we're setting up our raised beds. Yep, so we've done a, a, a fair amount to it, you know, just in the short amount of time that we've been here. Yeah. So, we've, and we've made some good progress. We're making yeah. it our own, you know. Just kind of doing our own thing with it. Yeah. and uh, But it's been nice because that's the one good thing about owning your own place is that you can do whatever you want with it. So, yeah, that's true. So that part's been pretty nice. Can't see it, but there's a pile of pictures that need to be hung over there. Oh, we still haven't done that. I mean, I, we, we got have, some up, but we yeah. still got a bunch. We still got a bunch to put up. It's yeah. just one of those things. I'm very indecisive. That's probably <laughs> one thing that's been hard for you to get used to. Cause no, <laughs> not I'm really. very indecisive. Not really. You already knew that about me, but... I did. It's just kind of funny, though, because, well, just for example, with the pictures, you know, you'll say, oh, we might put that up there. And you're like, no, I want to think about it. You know, yeah. it's just kind of funny sometimes in a mm -hmm. cute way, though. It's awfully cute. Well, Austin's You very, just want to make sure it's right, you know? Yeah, I do. And Austin's, like, very decisive, so... In some ways, yeah. Yeah, in a lot of ways, it, compared to me. So I think yeah. that we're a good team. I think so. We have so much in common, but mm -hmm. at the same time, we still have different interests. And yeah, 
what we're a lot in common in a lot of ways, but we also complement each other yeah. in different ways too. Like with that example, the stuff we don't have in common, we kind of complement each other yeah. with, you know? So I agree. Have some water. No. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. You go, dog. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Joke's on us. Camera hadn't been rolling the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I worry sometimes. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I look in the camera? Let me make rolling? sure, actually. It's been rolling. Okay, good. <laughs> Although it, the 20% thing had popped up. Hopefully oh, that doesn't mess nothing up. No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. It, 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 the clock was, was still, still rolling, rolling okay. so. Okay, we better end this. So overall, it's just been a wonderful year. And it's Absolutely. amazing to think about people who have been married for 50 years. And yep. I'm like, oh my gosh. If you can put up with me for 50 years, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> if you can put up with me for 50 years, for even 25, you'd be doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. No. You got me forever, whether you like it or not. You got me forever, too. I guess we'll... In this video, you have to mm -hmm. comment below and, and let us know uh, what you think. And especially, yeah. I'm sure we'll have a lot of viewers who have been married for 50 years. Or, yeah, that's one thing. Tell us how long y'all yeah, have been married. Yeah, we'd love to know mm -hmm. how long you've been married. And we're so grateful that yep. God blessed us with each other and Absolutely. our home and our crazy pup. And we're very blessed. Mm -hmm. We love each other very much. It's just still hard to believe that it's yep. been a year. And we welcome any tips you Older married couples have to offer. Yeah. We're always open to suggestions. Yeah, and, we sure are. And we've yeah. got a lot of wonderful, sweet comments, just yeah. especially closer to the wedding. And even now, you know, people comment and then our emails yeah. and cards and things like that. And we really treasure that. I mean, when I look at people who have been married 50 years, I mean, that's so admirable. And, and obviously they're doing something right. And uh, yeah, there's something to really be said for that. So Absolutely. But it's been a great year. Here's to the next one. Here's to the next one. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you on the next video. Love you, baby. Do you want to go watch Seinfeld now? If you want to. Boo, ba doo boo, boo. Boo, ba doo boo, boo. You said you needed your, you needed a script for this? Oh, you're videoing, you butthole. I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're a liar. You call me alive? Yeah. You're not videoing. Why are you looking through the phone? I'm trying to get our thing set up here. Mm-hmm. That's so bright. Ain't that bright to you? It hurts my face. No, it don't. It does a little bit, actually. <clears throat> oh, do you like being on camera with Daddy? No, I don't really like it at all, actually. I'm not even being paid for this. You little bit sleepy girl. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I edited that part out. I didn't like that. It's okay, baby. We can edit it out. Thumbnail um, time. Thumbnail time. <laughs> Just literally put your thumbnail up there. Oh my gosh, Granny, one time when we were filming a video, we said, all right, hold still, we're going to get a thumbnail. And she's like, doll, why do you want a picture of my thumbnails? <laughs> Granny's cute. She's precious. Like I mean, this? No. Like this? <laughs> I, you just, I need to know what On you want. On this side of your face. But make it be like, what is this, this red? <laughs> Sprinkler? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of dance moves. I'll do the Dobby. <laughs> I know. That's exactly what all of them does. My favorite dance moves are like feeding the chickens and grocery shopping. Okay. Yeah. Those are lame. It's just how it is. <laughs> Water the plants. I can't say anything. I don't dance, so. Is that music? No. Oh, it's probably. It's probably music from that truck. Hmm. These hooligans playing their music so loud. <laughs> What's on your forehead, Ella? Dirt. <laughs> it's dirt. <laughs> Sleeping on all daddy's work clothes. Gonna wrinkle them and get them hairy. Lovely. <laughs> That's a wrap.